Oh. Oh. You want to talk about if like to have a fever from hat from teething? Not really. We crawl around like a mouse. And destroy everything. What's up, big dude? How's it going? <laughs> oh my goodness! Hi guys, we are in the kitchen today. <laughs> surprise, surprise, woman in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have my baby too. We're making ginger ale today. We have probably about a pound, what do we say, like a pound and a half of fresh ginger root. It was one piece and then somebody got a hold of it and now it's two pieces. Um, <laughs> so um, I can't remember exactly the process, but we're gonna show you what the process is as Eric reminds you what the process is. <laughs> but the first step is we're gonna be grating it. So, like, part of the deal is that I make beer, and because mm -hmm. we can't have beer for now right now, we can, and August can't have beer, August is very sad about this. Do you want beer? He doesn't know that he's sad about it yet. Oh, but he will be. <laughs> so, we're making ginger ale. We've done this twice before, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And first batch was epically awesome. The second batch had too much vanilla. So yeah. It was not... It was like cream soda with ginger great. in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... so Going for a better balance today. And we're gonna grate some ginger this time. Last time we sliced it, the last two times we sliced it. Oh my it. gosh, and it took so long. It's a lot of slicing. It's a very lot of slicing. So we're gonna do this up, and uh, I'm gonna keg this and let it get all carbonated and delicious. And then we shall drink ginger ale, and it will be glorious. And August, in case you can't tell, is teething like a madman. Yes, thus the the fingers in the mouth. And mm. the drool and the two cheating necklaces. And he uh, he's had a fever. <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna have some ginger ale, and he can have some of that. So, Yay. not very much, but a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. I don't even know if I can turn this thing around on myself. Ready? I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Say macho, macho man. I got myself a nectarine and it's really tasty. Mmm. Yeah. Nectarines. Alright, so this is how much ginger no I made. Let's see if I can focus and not be in the light, shadow, etc. Look at the ginger pile, and this is mine. Let me get it straight here too. Mmm. Delicious piles of gingery goodness. So the biggest problem we have with ginger ale, like normal ginger ale you buy in the store is that, what's the biggest problem? It's not ginger ale enough. It's not, like ginger ale, I've had a couple really good ginger ales, there's one called Buffalo Rock, I think, or something like that, and mm -hmm. it is gingery enough that it burns going down. And in my opinion, that is how it should be. How's it going, dude? You hanging out? Um, pregnant bellies agree. Yes, and pregnant bellies definitely could use happy ginger ale instead of ginger ale that's just sugar's goodness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this and we're going to stick it in a pot and I don't know which pot we're going to use. It'll go over there somewhere though, when it's all done. Uh, and we'll boil it down and make some really tasty gingery goodness. And you guys will all enjoy watching, I hope, or something. <laughs> See you in a bit. Alright, so this is our ginger. We got uh, about two cups grated and we got a pot and we're going to basically... What? Pot. Nell is good at filming pot. I mean, making... Never mind. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna get some brown sugar and some regular sugar. We're gonna do two cups of ginger, and we're kind of making our own recipe this time. So two cups of ginger, one cup of sugar, and then a third of a cup of brown sugar, and then a uh, big squirt of lemon juice, a couple lime uh, peels, lime rinds, and uh, some vanilla, and I think we'll be good to go. I'm gonna boil that all down, and then we'll add a whole bunch of water to it, like two gallons of water to it, three gallons of water to it, and then we'll put it in a fridge with CO2 hooked up so it gets nice and pressurized and bubbly. So, here we go. Bubbly. Bubbly! Are you excited? Like I says, oh, I'm so excited? excited. I'm working on it. Aww. And there goes the excited face. He's the, excited. He's like, I was excited, but now I'm tired. Leave me alone! We get flagrant in here tonight! Oh, what's up, pretty lady? Oh, it's your girl's birthday? Oh, you got something to request? Oh, that's what's up, I got you! Thumbs up. 
Is it nap time, small person? <laughs> oh, that's a resounding yes, if ever I All right, heard nap it. for him. I'm going to start boiling this down, and we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so this card's about to be filled, so I'm going to empty the card. But look, that's our little pot of joy. And now, oh, how does it smell? It smells awesome. <laughs> Are you pretty excited about I'm this? I'm very excited. All right, so I, and we talked about a little bit about why you like the taste so much, but what does ginger make your belly feel like if you're feeling sick? It's a, just it's, better. Just better. Does it have to be more eloquent than that? <laughs> I'm trying no, to make I an mean, interesting video here. <laughs> no, ginger is a you know a, a natural substance that is well known to make you or, um, to help with nausea or stomach upsetness. Things and it's like also that. quite delicious, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I like ginger even when I'm not feeling bad. I see. I've been putting it in my gin and tonics lately, and it's really good. Mm. <laughs> All right, Gee, so. I don't know what that's like. I know, I know. You're missing out on those this summer. Uh, mm -hmm. Laptop here for recipes, like a boss. And then this is one thing I want to point out. Oh, it's going to end, but wood spoons are awesome. Get wood spoons. They are wicked awesome red. <laughs> yeah, we only use wood spoons in our oh, bones. Whoa, that was scary. close. All right, this card's full. I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, so we're back. We're back. Uh, okay. It's it's tomorrow now. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we have something to do. Yes, um, didn't happen yesterday. So we're back and we have boiled our ginger mixture. And mm. we're now in the process of straining it into the lovely clean keg. Which now did a great job of cleaning, by the way. She so, did a fabulous job. Anyway, so this is the ginger, lemon, vanilla, sugar, and a bit of water. Is there anything else? Uh, there's three cups of water. Two cups of ginger, a cup and a half of sugar, uh, or a cup and a third of sugar, I think something like that, and more ginger. Oh, vanilla, lemon. We should add some lime juice. Lime juice makes everything better. It really does. All right. Uh, so we're gonna add about two gallons of water to this, and then I'll take this keg right here, and that keg will go and get put into the kegerator with some CO2, and it will then be. Generating soda. Delicious. That was your hottest look. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I will maybe record more. If not, you've just learned kind of, sort of, maybe, how to make ginger ale. Really oh yeah, 45 degree angles every way. Oh my god. Sorry guys, you're watching this. 2005 then. I know, I know. See, as photographers, we make fun of people who do the whole like camera angle like this because it's... Even though we've done it ourselves. Oh yeah, I've done it, I used to do it all the time. But the thing is, you can't frame anything like this. Everything just kind of looks weird. And I'm probably out of focus. So, yeah. Hi. <laughs> we'll see you guys sooner or later. Oh, you're on me now, huh? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye.